Welcome to the third edition of our Painting Style Spotlight series. Learning history's painting styles will help you develop your own creative style. In this video, we will discuss the Art Nouveau period, including its artists, methods, and ways you can use aspects of this style in your future work. Welcome to Acrylic Arts Academy, we teach the world to paint. Subscribe to this channel for more acrylic painting content. Art Nouveau appeared worldwide during the late 19th and early 20th centuries, beginning in Paris. It made a splash and eventually was embraced on a global scale by artists around the world. This style of art making was so popular that it was incorporated into architectural structures during the early 20th century. At this time, a shop in Paris began selling new art, or what they called l'art nouveau, thus coining this work style. Artists of the era yearned for a larger audience. They wanted a wider expanse of admirers, and their end goal was to produce artwork at a faster frequency. Mass production, the use of this art as home decor, and the influence of architecture were the sticking points of this style. Influenced by the arts and crafts movement and the Japanese art of the time, makers of this period included stylistic choices from these methods in Art Nouveau pieces. Let's review some of the artwork from prominent artists of the time to further analyze the Art Nouveau style. Please note that all images used here are in the public domain and are courtesy of National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C. and or the Wikimedia Commons project. The hallmark aspects of this style were influenced by the forms of the natural world. Art from this time often appeared to have two-dimensional qualities with bold lines and muted color. Artists such as Alphonse Mucha paired with popular corporate entities to advertise food and other products to gain wider notoriety and achieve mass production of their art. For instance, let's consider this artwork by Alphonse Mucha called Biscuits Le Feve Utile, dated 1896. His now well-known style, enhanced by feminine figures and curling flourishes, was used commercially to sell biscuits in this example. Though this art is two-dimensional in its appearance, there's no lack of intricate details. This piece has beautifully sophisticated technicalities, from the text to the floral crown to her skin and clothes. The pairing of a delicate feminine form with flowing hair and clothes paired with a commercial entity such as food or drink was the consistent theme for Alphonse Mucha's work. Another vital artist from this time is Aubrey Beardsley. Let's take a look at one of his artworks from this time. This piece is called Isolde, and it was created in 1889. It's an illustration based on the medieval literary tale of Tristan and Isolde. In this image, we see a portrait in a profile viewpoint, which lends itself to the two-dimensional styling we discussed previously. She is in the process of bringing a goblet to her mouth, undoubtedly to drink a potion featured in the story of these two lovers. Though this is a static image, it portrays a pivotal scene within the literature. Notice how the styling is somewhat similar to Mucha's biscuit art. There are bold contour lines and a limited color palette, yet she lacks the intricate textural detail we noted previously. To incorporate this type of styling into your work, consider the following. Create two-dimensional imagery with or without textural information. Utilize bold outlines surrounding the subject matter. Craft a distinct and consistent styling throughout. Choose a muted or limited color palette. And lastly, look to natural forms for inspiration. If you want to learn more about this style and gain inspiration, look up the following artists. Aubrey Beardsley, Alphonse Mucha, Gustav Klimt, Gerda Wegner, and René Lalique. Each artist has varying background stories that influence their work from this era. Explore these people and more as you look into the style and relate it to your expressive approach to painting. 
We hope this video helped you understand the Art Nouveau style. Learning the styles of art making from history will help you understand and develop your way of creating. Future videos from this playlist will teach you about even more artistic approaches from history. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time! Begin your acrylic painting journey by visiting acrylicartsacademy.com slash free guides.